Greetings and salutations guys and gals, Jake Vegas here with Jake Vegas Digital and today we're going to do some fishing. We are out here on White Moose Lake in Alberta, Canada and we're going to try to fish for uh, whatever we can get. Just going to do a little farming out here today guys. Keep in mind that this is a live stream if you're watching this video after it has been broadcasted. So there will be some downtime between catch and fish, no edits, nothing like that, just straight up fishing. So, yeah, come along for the ride. Let's see what we can pull out of here. Right now I'm just fishing a medium spoon, half ounce, with a number three odd hook. And we're going to go ahead and see what we can pull out. I have caught splake over in this area quite a bit. We're going to see if we could uh, catch any of those bad boys out here today. Guys, if you're coming into the stream, let me know how it sounds, how it looks, how it feels. If the, uh, if the music is too loud, overpowering my voice or vice versa, let me know. I can make all those adjustments. See, actually, this song does sound a bit too loud right now. Let's go ahead and adjust that volume down just a little bit. Down to right about there sounds good to me. Welcome, guys. Everybody who is coming into the stream, welcome. Glad to have you in here. All right, back to the fishing. Let's see what we can pull out. Like I said earlier in the stream, I have caught a bunch of splake over here. That was the other day, though. It's getting late at night. Oh, we got a hit. We got a fish on, guys. We got a fish on already. Look at that. Not sure what kind it is. We'll see here in a minute. Operation Fat Ass. Welcome to the stream, buddy. Glad to have you in here tonight. Appreciate that feedback, brother. This feels like it might be a decent sized little fish here. Let's see what we got on the line, if we can get him in. I'm thinking Atlantic Salmon, but it could be a Splake or a Lake Trout as well. Dave Coolston, welcome to the stream, my friend. Greetings and salutations to you, sir. Still have not uh, made it to Michigan for those clear musky. I do believe you were the one who was asking about that. Still stuck here in Alberta for the time being. This thing's got some fight in it. Let's see if we could get him up here. Come on. Almost got this bad boy in. There we go. I think it's either a lake trout or a splake. We got ourselves a little, little, I know it sounds weird, 9.793 pound lake trout. Wow, look at that, $666. That is a scary <laughs> amount of money right there. We'll go ahead and keep this bad boy, put him in the keep net on the stringer, whatever you want to say. All right, let's cast back out there, see if we can't land ourselves another one. How you guys doing this evening? So I'm just doing a little stop and go right here with this particular lure. I've caught a, I caught a ton of splake out here the other day like eight or nine of them and they're rather a uh, they're a rather rare fish and I just so happened to to catch a bunch of them and I've been trying to recapture that moment the past couple days and haven't been able to do so I'm hoping today maybe we could land some splake out of here like I did the other day cool David I appreciate that man thanks for your patience dude Operation fat ass. No, I have not. I have not fished Michigan whatsoever yet. I'm looking forward to getting there though. I'm trying to do the lakes in order and I've been uh, 
Been having some personal things going on that hasn't allowed me to play the game as much and make as many videos as normal, but um, doing what I can to keep busy with the, uh, the YouTube. Juka Blomster Finland is in the house. Welcome, man. Glad to have Finland here. That's an entire country in the house. Holy cow. That's a lot of people. Let's try casting back out there again and see if we can't do anything uh, one more time. We might have to switch to a different side. There are fish all over in this lake. Just got to know exactly where they're at. I know it's kind of early, guys, for me to be streaming. Um, five o'clock Central Standard Time, but don't have much free time these days. And I decided that, yeah, got some free time here. Probably about time for me to go ahead, jump in the stream. Oh, we got a fish on, guys. We got a fish on. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Another one, Strike Cast. What is up there, son? How you doing, buddy? Glad to have you in the stream as always, my friend. What do we got here? Wow, look at that. I was not expecting to pull this out here. All right, good deal. We got ourselves a trophy brook trout. Now, I'll tell you what, these guys, these little, uh, these little fish here, they are kind of pretty. I like looking at them. They got them little colored dots on them and whatnot. <laughs> but this, uh, these fish here, they don't get that big. This is a pretty big one. 3.328 pounder. $339. They pay real well per pound. So keep that in mind. They may not get that big, but they pay great. Uh, a little over a dollar per pound, it looks like. Trophy Brook Trout, guys. We're going to go ahead and stick this one in the keep net. Put it on the stringer. David, I am sure, buddy. I am sure those musky. I'm really looking forward to getting out there. And uh, really looking forward to getting out there. Catching those northern pikes that are out there. Also, those musky that are out there. Sturgeon, I hear, is out there. I hear that's just, hear that's just an all-around great lake. So I am looking forward to getting out there to Michigan. I think after Alberta, I'm almost finished here in Alberta. I think I'm going to head off to Quanchkin Lake in Louisiana. And after that, I'm going to go ahead and head up to Michigan and start fishing there. So that's kind of the schedule as far as I know at this point in time for the videos and the streams and whatnot. Strike cast, I am doing good, my friend. Now, Strike, you're going to have to remind me, buddy, um, your pure skill in-game, is that correct? If so, I got you down here talking to me in-game and in the stream. <laughs> Just want to make sure you can hear me, if that's you, if you are pure skill. I'm doing good, though. I am doing good. Thank you for asking. So as you guys can see, I'm just doing a little stop and go right here. Not much, but a little bit of a stop and go. Doesn't catch the fish naturally on every cast, but I have had pretty good luck out here in this area with the splake the other day. Man, it drives me up the wall because I released an update. They released an update the other day, and uh, after that update, I haven't been able to catch the uh, been able to catch the splake out here. Croopy face is in the house. All right, Croopy man, good to have you in here. Welcome aboard, Interno FIFA Football. Hello, sir. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you in here. Oh yeah, Croopy. I know. I know that those uh, those unique lake trouts are over there with the medium spoon. The tiger, you could do either the red tiger or the lemon tiger and catch them. Might switch to that, guys. We got another fish on. Very good. Very good. Croopy, I remember you being the uh, donator, if I'm not 
Mistaken David. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, there will be a stream on the clear musky. Uh on musky in general, probably. I know there's a variation of muskies out there. Once we uh once we get over there to Michigan, we'll go ahead and definitely do a stream on the muskies out there. Yep, I hear you. I hear you, Kroopy. My buddy Skillful DTS the other day pulled out a 50 pound unique. 50 pound unique lake trout out of here. I was fishing with them. I think pure skill, strike cast, whatever he wants to go by was in here when that happened as well. We got another little lake trout here, guys. Another little guy. It's all right, though. I was really hoping to land some splake. The splake pay really, really well. They're about a dollar per pound, if not a little bit more. But we got the lake trout, 8.5 to 3 pounds, $580. We'll go ahead and keep him and put him in the keep net. Juka, talk about using your line to the end. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm way down there, man. Way down there in the red. I think I should be good. I might change it at about, uh, at about 10%. I'll probably switch the line up. For now, it's doing okay, though. If I lose a fish because of it, then of course I'll start cussing and swearing. But right now it seems like it's doing all right. Uh, Kroopy, yeah, the, this medium spoon is good as well. It's a little bit lighter, a little bit lighter of a spoon, but it does work as well. David, thanks, man. Oh, we got another fish on, guys. Got another fish on, probably another lake trout. I think they might have moved the splake on us. Strike's personal best is 48. I remember that yesterday. I think it was Strike. You're bragging about beating Skillful. And that's what happens when you brag, buddy. Skillful pulled out that 50 pounder and now he's beating you. How does that make you feel? <laughs> Michael Battiston, welcome, man. Glad to have you in the stream, dude. Yep, yep, this is a great lake to make money. This would be the lake. What do we got here? Another lake trout, it looks like. Yep, man, I think they moved the splay. So bogus. It's all right, though. We will go ahead and uh, we'll take this lake trout. 8.584 pounds, $583. Put him on the stringer. Um, Is there any better lake than this? As far as the lakes I've been to, probably not. I do still like Florida a little bit for the bass fishing out there, and I like Falcon for the trout, but this is a great money-making lake. Prankster Campbell, welcome to the stream. Glad to have you back in here, buddy, as usual. Just doing a little fishing here in Fishing Planet. Uh, we got snagged up here. Let's see if we can get ourselves unsnagged. There we go. Just doing a little stop and go, lift and drop type thing off the bottom at this point. Tell you these, uh, the splake that I caught when I did catch them, it was a couple days ago before the update, but they were right down here not far from the pier. They were real close to the pier when I caught them. Strike, I think uh, I'm doing a dual stream. I haven't checked my... I am streaming to Twitch right now as well, I believe. I haven't checked the status of it to make sure that it is streaming properly, but um, let me check real quick. Make sure the stream is okay on Twitch as well. And there we go. We'll go ahead and reel this in. Guys, give me one second here and check how my Twitch stream is doing with this. Get right back to fishing in just a minute. Yeah, it looks like the Twitch stream isn't doing so good. It says content not available. I don't feel like tweaking the settings right now. Um... I'll have to get that set up at a later date. I'm using a multi-stream system for this, so 
Right now, I'm just concerned about YouTube, but uh, I am trying to stream to Twitch as well as YouTube, but not working today. Delta Lake. Delta Lake. I don't think I've heard of Delta Lake. Maybe I'm just... Um, Maybe I'm just drawing a blank, but I can't I can't think of Delta Lake what it is. Which one is it, Troopy? And Prankster Campbell, I appreciate that, man. Glad you can stop in as often as you do. Much appreciated. That's some dedication. I like to see that. <laughs> Guys, we might switch over to the big lake trout over on the other side of the lake that Croopy was talking about. There are some big boys over there. We might try pulling some of them in. I was hoping to get the splake over here, but so far not having much luck with it. Oh, we got a fish on. Look at that right here. That's good. That's good. That's good. Mike Brian Rowe, welcome to the stream, man. Glad to have you in here today. Just doing some fishing here and fishing planet. Feels like a decent sized fish. I think it's another lake trout most likely. Pretty sure they moved them splake on me. Strike just got himself a 2.3 pound trophy perch. It's a big perch, buddy. Yep, we got ourselves another, another, another little lake trout. 10.711 pounds. $729. We'll go ahead and uh, keep this guy, we'll put him on the stringer. And I think we're gonna move over here. Over here, left hand side of the lake. And there are some big lake trout over here. Let's see if we can nail some of those, bring some of those bad boys in here. Fiber Gaming, what is up, man? Welcome to the stream. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. I honestly, I do hear that a lot. And I take that as quite a compliment. I appreciate it, man. All right, so we're going to switch it up to the one half ounce medium spoon. Uh, number four, uh, I don't have the larger spoon. I think it's the one and three fourth ounce medium spoon. And I believe that one might have a six. Uh, I don't have that lure yet. This is the closest I got to it, but I have caught some pretty good size lake trout out here with it. Let's go ahead and switch it up. See if we can see if we can reel some of those bad boys in. Let's give it a try. Nope, that cast ain't gonna do it. Fiber, thanks, man. I appreciate that compliment. Glad you are enjoying the videos. Uh, Hunter Call of the Wild or Fishing Planet, either one or both, whichever. <laughs> I'm glad you watch. And uh, I'm glad you think they are awesome. I try to make them awesome. So glad to hear that feedback. So same thing over here, I just do a little stop and go. There's a variety of retrieve methods you can use out here. You can use the uh, stop and go, you could use the lift and drop, you could twitch it, you could do a straight steady retrieve. I've had luck catching the lake trout out here on all, all of those methods. Right now, as you can see, I'm just doing a stop and go off the bottom. We'll see how well that does for us. Mike Brian Rowe asking, what level am I right now? I think I am a level 38, if I'm not mistaken. Almost a level 39 though. Strike, do I want to fish some pike? Um, I do, actually. Strike, I wouldn't mind fishing some pike. Let me see if I can pull out a few of the nicer sized lake trout out of here first, and then I'll, uh, I'll head over there and fish some pike with you. 
awesome fiber glad to hear that they are helping you out and uh thank you for the sub as well i do appreciate that oh man we missed that hit it was right there i felt the controller rumble but we did not we did not get the uh get to uh, set the hook on the fish there let's try one more time out here we will go ahead and cast out again this time I'm going to try a straight and steady retrieve uh, it's no worries Mike no worries man I know I was there at the uh, 25 level myself at one point in time a couple months ago I don't get to play this game nearly as often as I would like to nowadays got uh, got other stuff that calls to my attention but um I remember being a 25. Wasn't too long ago for myself. South Africa. Wow. That is a distance. That's cool, man. Real cool. Are you a, are you a D Antwoord fan? <laughs> That's the only thing I know from South Africa is that that crazy musical group there, D Antwoord. Um but yeah, cool. I'm glad to glad to hear you're from South Africa and you're watching. That's awesome, man. We got a fish on, guys. Oh, 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 don't lose the line tension. Let's see. Let's see what we got on the line here. Almost got it all the way up here. Let's check it out. This is a bigger lake trout than the ones we've caught so far. Not bad, not bad. Still not the biggest, not near the biggest, not even a trophy, but it's all right. We got it. Look at that. This is a 13 pounder, $885. We're going to go ahead and take this bad boy, put him in the keep net. Cast back out there, see what we can't get. Uh, looks like my lure is sitting on the top of the water. Not sure what's going on there. So I'm going to let it sink to about half depth, I believe, and try the straight retrieve. See what we can get off of that. This lake is rather deep, so it does take a while for the lures to, uh, to sink. Right about there looks good. We'll go ahead and start reeling it in now. You guys that have been uh, interacting and those who are just now coming in, do appreciate you guys being in here as always. Makes my day to see some people hanging out in Fishing Planet. Oh, we're on the bottom. Let's see if we could get this about mid depth or at least close to it. Right about there. That looks like a good good depth to be. We'll see if we can pull anything else in. So far, not even a hit off of this cast. Good job, Strike got himself a 10.9 pound trophy Northern Pike. That is awesome. What did you catch him in? Uh, catch him on, man. One more cast out here with this, this, and I think we might go over to the Northern Pike and see if we can't pull any of them in. Go ahead and start our retrieve slow and steady. Slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> oh. So far, no hits. Not a single hit off the slow and steady retrieve. 
That sounds too, uh, it sounds about right, man. It sounds about right. It is, uh, it's getting near nighttime. It is nighttime for me here. I might have to fast forward to morning time, which I think I'm going to do once I reel this in. I have not night fished much here on this lake, so I'm not sure just how uh, successful that would be. Motorboats. Motorboating. <laughs> I believe so, man. I don't know when, to be honest with you, but I do believe they will be making it their way to the PC as well. So we're going to come down here. We're going to join old Strikecast and see if we can't catch some Northern Pike along with him over here. There's strike. Maybe we can uh, hit him in the head with a lure. How about that? <laughs> All right, let's let's switch up to pike fishing. I think I got my pike baits. I don't have any pike baits. Well, I got the three foot cranker, the old crank bait. I left all my poppers and everything at home. Can't believe I did that. Stupid, stupid, stupid. That's all right. We'll try this uh, glow in the dark crankbait. See how we do with that out here. Switch it to right about here. Let's see if we can't pull some pike in. Scott Hitchcock, welcome to the stream, man. Glad to have you in here tonight. We'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and crank this crankbait at about a one speed glow in the dark. I can't believe I left all my my poppers and walkers and everything at home. Delta Lake, I told you, Kroopy. I am not sure. Never heard. Never heard of Delta Lake, man. I haven't heard of it. Which one is it? What is the Delta Lake? Are you talking about the salty delta in the Everglades? I'm not. I'm not sure. Could you clarify, please? Ah, San Joaquin Delta in California. Honestly, I am not. Uh, have not fished there yet. I'm fishing the lakes in order as they are unlocked, and I have not fished at San Joaquin in California. That crankbait did not get a hit. We'll cast it one more time out there. See if we can get a hit with it. If not, we're going to fast forward to morning time. Right back out there. 3.3 thousand dollars for the walkers. Jesus God. That is a pricey pricey walker i might have to do that though if i'm gonna fish for any northern pike it's not nothing wrong with having another one in your inventory anyways so might do that strike thanks for the info because right now this glow in the dark cranker it ain't pulling in anything oh maybe maybe i was wrong what do we got here guys what do we got here what do we got here we got a fish on that's what we got <laughs> Maybe we can pull in some fish with this glow in the dark crankbait at nighttime. Whoa, don't lose that line tension. Don't lose that line tension. Gotta keep it up. Oh, yeah. We got a fish here. What do we got on the line here? Doesn't look like a northern pike, looks like a lake trout. Boom basta. We got ourselves a 10.847 pound lake trout. Not bad, not bad. Off of the uh, crankbait here, $738. Go ahead and keep that bad boy. Put him on the stringer. 
Scott Hitchcock, do I have any tips for drum in Missouri without shrimp? Uh, I do not. I do not, sir. I do not. The only time I've ever caught drum out there has been off of uh, off of the shrimp. So, oh, that's not good. Let's try that again. So I honestly cannot uh, make any recommendations for you there, buddy. Shrimp is the only thing I've caught them off of. Juka's got the vodka. Vodka. Good deal, man. Good deal. Nostrovia. While you're drinking that vodka, that's what you do. You take a shot of vodka, you slam the glass down on the bar, and then you yell out, Nostrovia! Learn that from a uh, <laughs> learned that from a cute stripper back in the day. Anyway. Enough of that jargon. Uh, Scott was watching some of my videos. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. I, I'm assuming you saw the one with the freshwater drum in Missouri. There we go. Strike's got some advice for you there. Strike says you can catch them off red worms. I can't verify that because I haven't, but uh, you might want to give it a try. See if it works for you. We'll try one more cast out here before we switch it up to morning time. Henry M, welcome to the stream. Thank you, sir. Do appreciate that. I'm assuming you're referring to the uh, beginner's guide. So I'm um, glad that beginner's guide helped you out, man. Really appreciate uh, that feedback there. Yeah, the only thing, like I said, man, the only thing I've caught those freshwater drum off of are the shrimp scat, but uh, might want to take Strike's advice and try some red worms, see if those work, dude. Nightcrawlers is what I was going to say, but I'm assuming you don't want to use shrimp because you don't have them unlocked yet, maybe? And if that's the case, then you probably don't have Nightcrawlers unlocked yet either. So let's go ahead and uh, let's fast forward some time here. Let's see what we got on our stringer so far, or in our keep net, whatever. We got two yellow perch, some trophy brook trout, some burbot, a couple of lake trouts. I did get a trophy splake the other day. Trophy catfish with cheese. Uh, in Missouri, it's a possibility, but it's not not going to be that easy to catch them with cheese. I've had the best luck catching the Trophy Channel catfish out there with uh, leeches and live crawfish. So this is what we got. Let's go ahead and fast forward time to the morning. Boom Basta forward time. Yes, we do want to extend our stay here. So look at that guys, we did not fill up our keep net all the way, but we still got $12,597. Not bad, keep in mind I do have premium at the moment. That's why we are making so much money. I'll go ahead and take it. Let's see what the shop has to offer in regards to poppers and whatnot. Prankster, you really didn't miss much. We just caught a couple more lake trout. Let's see what we got. Here we got. We got, we got, we got, we got some poppers here. $3,300 for this bad boy. We can make that up though relatively quickly if we can catch some northern pike with it. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll go ahead and take this uh, silvery black color. Which one is this? Uh, white with black back. We will buy this guy. Put him in the backpack, we'll give him a try out here. Actually now also sounds like a pretty good time to change my line. And I got just a little bit of 12 pound test left. We'll go ahead and throw that on the reel. We'll 
trash this old line. <laughs> Prankster. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Banned, uh, you got banned from watching me on the computer, so now you just bring your phone. Wow. That, uh, that's some strict rules they got there in whatever school you go to, but that's, that's dedication, man. Just don't get yourself in trouble while watching Jake Vegas Digital. All right, let's head back out here again. We got, uh, we got the popper loaded up. Killer D312, Killer to Killer D. How you doing, man? Glad to have you in the stream tonight. All right, we got the popper on. Let's give it a try. Maybe we can land some pike out here early in the AM. Bright, sunny day outside. I'm trying to avoid getting a kayak because it costs so much money, but if I'm going to go for pike, I might, uh, might have to end up doing that. Do a few pops out there. Pop. Cut a lot of trophy off of these poppers, trophy northern pike, and usually a, uh, they seem to hit up close. The trophies did. A couple that I caught, which I thought was kind of bizarre, but that's how they hit. Yeah, prankster, that's uh, that's probably not a good idea, man. <laughs> Don't go telling your teacher to f off. That is not something that Jake Vegas Digital would uh, would advise, but. It's kind of it, just <laughs> that's cool, man. Whatever, whatever you gotta do, I guess. Uh, you can see it popping out there, little splashes of water. So far, no hits off it, though. Oh, we just had a hit there. Oh, but we missed it. We missed it. Let's try popping it some more. Maybe it'll come back and hit this lure again. No dice. No dice on that cast either. Hmm. Let's try it again. Cast back out there. Oh, you just said F. Okay. Well, that 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 makes it okay. <laughs> okay, then I guess. Uh. No, I'm just kidding. That doesn't make it okay, brother. I don't know how old you are, but I do not I do not recommend uh respect your elders, boy. <laughs> Although I do appreciate you watching. Don't want you to get in trouble in school, brother, for watching me. No hits on this one either. Hmm. Just spent three thousand three hundred dollars on this topwater popper. We're not even getting a hit off of it. Although I do know they hit this. They do hit it. That is... That is true. Let's try it again. If it doesn't work, I'm blaming Strike Cast. Go ahead and see if we can't get some popping action going on this thing. Another uh, fish, unfortunately, that like to hit uh, these topwater poppers over here are the little perch. So if you're using a topwater popper for the northern pike, you might get some perch hitting, nipping at the popper as well. Scott Hitchcock, uh, let's just go ahead and say that I am in my 30s, my friend. I am in my 30s as far as age goes. Yeah, I don't want to get in a kayak strike. I think I am at peak time. Let me see what the peak time is here. Oh, let's see what we have. No, I am not at peak time. Peak time. I'm at the bottom. Ah, that's right. Let's see. What else? What else do I got that could land some pike in here? I got some regular crankbaits, but they're all 12 footers. we got for fish species we got 
We got the northern pike here. Let's try a shad. Sounds rather interesting. Let's try a shad for some of these northern pike and see if that doesn't work. Got some different colors here. We'll try the white one. Cast out there, see if we can't get some northern pike with it. Juka, thanks for stopping in, man. Glad to have you in here. Jovan, Jovan, Jo Jovanovski. <laughs> Welcome, man. Glad to have you in here as well. Uh, take care, Juka. Scott caught himself a bass in real life. 33 degrees. That is, that's some cold water. Cold water. I don't know. Are you on Celsius or are you on uh, Fahrenheit? If you're Fahrenheit, that is cold water. <laughs> Last time I uh, went fishing, I caught some largemouth bass. I think they didn't exceed two pounds, though. Out by a local lake in my area. Let's see if we can get this jig shad to rise and fall. Maybe we can get a hit off of it. I found this good to experiment out here, guys. Sometimes you'll catch some fish while you're experimenting, and other times you will not. It's my first time fishing the shad. First time fishing for the shad, or for the pike with the shad, but we'll give it a try. Peak time for drum, I am not certain. I'm not certain. Uh, I fished for them at whatever time it was, and caught them pretty consistently out there caught some trophies I can't, honestly can't remember it's been a long time since I fished for freshwater drum out there in Missouri Sav what's up buddy 5,000 content not available I know I get that on Twitch uh, I have no idea man no idea what that is it's not um, it's just it, it won't it won't stream to Twitch and I'm getting that that message that says that I don't know why I think it might have something to do with my bit rate. Let's try this shed one more time. Cast out there and see if we can't get anything with it. Oh, I know, Strike. I've caught them numerous times, but I have caught them many a times out of the kayak. And they are fun to catch. In fact, that's why I got a video about them. How to catch them, but... Uh, I'm trying something different here, seeing if any other lures will work to catch them. Let's try. I'm trying to avoid getting that kayak. I don't want to spend the money for it. Shad so far aren't doing so well out here for the pike. I. Kind of figured that might be the case. Oh, we did get a hit right there, though. Felt the controller rumble. Got another hit. Felt the controller rumble, but it's not taking it all the way under. Not uh, swallowing the hook, unfortunately. Might be a smaller sized fish. I don't know. Yeah, that's a problem that I've noticed too, man. They'll hit the lure, but they won't take it all the way under strike. All right, guys, we're going to switch it up to something else. Getting hits off the shed, but not uh, they're not swallowing the hook. What do we got here? Sorry to hear that you got pulled into the water, but it's cool. You caught a seven pounder, prankster. Scott Hitchcock, I cannot guess it. We got Dare K, Dare K 21 requesting a friendship in game. Gonna go ahead and confirm that. If you're watching the stream, you're welcome to try to uh, jump into this room with us. All right, let's see here. What can we switch it to? What kind of spoons do I got here? Spoons. 
some bullet spinners. Got some single spoons. We can try one of these medium spoons over here. See if we have any luck catching anything. Not sure if the pike will hit these or not. Let's go ahead and give it a try. See if we have any luck out here with it. Scott, um, I could spend all day probably trying to guess what size your biggest fish is. 10 pounds, that's a nice sized fish, man. What kind of fish was it? Just doing a little bit of a lift and drop. Uh, strike, I don't have a rainbow spinner on me. Actually, I came here, I left and came back to Alberta. Um, because I had already caught the northern pike over here for the video, so I kind of left all my pike baits at home. I was kind of going for the Atlantic salmon and the lake trout from this point forward, but since you said let's do some pike fishing, I came over here and, uh, not having much luck with any of these non-pike baits catching pike, go figure. So I might go back over and try to do the lake trout again, guys. Sorry I haven't pulled out any pikes. Just don't have the right uh, lures for them and I'm not spending, oh, we had a hit. Not spending the 3,000 for the kayak right now. Channel Cat, that is nice. Channel Cat, 10 pound Channel Cat, that is a nice size Channel Cat. You can definitely follow me on your PlayStation. Dare K, Dare K21 sent me an Eagle Spoon. Right on, brother. Very nice of you. If you're, if you're watching the stream, I appreciate that, man. Prankster Campbell, no, I don't only live stream. I got a bunch of videos edited videos and everything like that uh, on my channel for Fishing Planet, Hunter Call of the Wild, a uh, game called Mud Runner, and older games that I used to play as well, like Metal Gear Solid 5, um, Battlefield 1. Got a bunch of videos on my channel. Henry, that is a big Northern Pike, man. I've always wanted to go Northern Pike fishing in reality, and have never been able to make it to a lake uh, to do that, so cool, man. Very cool. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and cast out here by Poco9999. Looks like he's got a big fish on that's rocking his boat over there. And it looks like he just tipped underwater. That is so bizarre. Not sure how that works in the game. That's kind of crazy. That's right. Let's reel this. Uh, let's reel this and see if we can't get ourselves a lake trout. Put it at about mid depth, see if we can't pull something in. That guy is going underwater. That's crazy. Biggest real life fish, seven pound catfish. That's still a pretty good sized catfish. Uh, biggest in my, my lifetime was I think a 10 pound flathead catfish. Got him off of a night crawler. Rubber worm, actually. What rubber night caught caught bit bit night crawler, black color caught that guy. Reeled him in. It was quite a fight. Strike cast gonna go now. See you. Take it easy, man. Always glad to have you in the stream, dude. All right, no hits off of this yellow lemon tiger spoon at a steady retrieve. We'll have to go back and try it out there again with a stop and go method. See if that does anything.
Let's let it sink. Having a hard time sinking out there, but let's go ahead and let it see if it see if it will sink. Which it looks like it's doing now. Henry, I really don't know, buddy. I don't know. Uh, I play. If you're talking about in Fishing Planet, then um, I don't think I'll show up on Fishing Planet on PlayStation because I play on PC. So, but if you're talking about on YouTube, then you just have to go to YouTube, and we will go ahead and see that on YouTube. You could follow me through. Uh, through YouTube if you're talking about the videos but Fishing Planet I don't believe you'll be able to follow me on PlayStation no you suck you suck you suck not having any hits on this right now reel it in gonna jig it off the bottom at this point Yeah, what? Are you deaf? You suck? Did you not hear me uh, say it? I said you suck, you suck. Want to hear it again? You suck, you suck. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. No hits so far on this lemon tiger. Ooh. I have to go ahead. Let's try it with the red. Let's try it with the red. See if we have any luck off of the red. No problem, Henry. Cast back out there one more time. I can't believe we can't even catch a lake trout right now. That's crazy. gonna do a little stop and go action reeled in about three times and then stop and go no problem prankster cam campbell thanks for always stopping in man do what you gotta do buddy don't get in trouble in school either watch jake vegas digital in your free time education is priceless <laughs> take care man We got a hit there. We had a hit. Boom, boss. About time. We got a fish on, guys. We got a fish on. It's about time. Not sure how big this one is. Can't tell with this rod right now. But it's about time. We had some downtime there. But we finally got ourselves a fish on. Miss Crystal Fox, welcome to the stream, sweetie. Glad to have you in here today. I apologize. I did not mean to kill your cousin. And uh, it was only because the mission called for it, darling. Had to do it because the mission called for it. But glad to see you in here tonight, Crystal. All right, we got ourselves a little lake trout. Only a 12.131 pounder. $825. That's okay. There are uniques out there maybe we could nail one of those things and reel it in here we'll go ahead and keep this one put it in the keep net all right well, that's cool then stick around prankster whatever works for you buddy looks like we got that one off the stop and go retrieve You were getting bored then, prankster. Is that what it was? Yeah, I understand, man. 
That's cool. Oh, 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 we got another one on. We got another one on. We got another one on. Let's see what we got here. If we could get this bad boy in as well. Irisk Kenfitsk. Irisk Kenfitsk. Can't pronounce your name properly, man, but uh, I can try. I can try to fish for salmon if that's what you guys want to see. I was uh, trying to avoid uh, fishing the salmon because that was going to be my next video, was how to catch the salmon out here. And I wanted to save the salmon for the video since I got the footage for it. Got another little lake trout here, guys. 8.716 pounder, $592. Go ahead and keep him and put him in the keep net. Let's try one more cast out there. See what we can or cannot do. Not as impressive with hits, but oh well. Uh, sure, Crystal. Don't know what you're referring to, but um, okay. Your comment is duly noted. All right. Things just got real up in this mofo. Go ahead and try to reel this in. See if we can't catch ourselves. Another lake trout. That would be nice. Jonathan Rieka, Riaka, Rika, aka Stitch. Doing good, man. How you doing? Glad to have you in the stream tonight. Uh, fishing's going all right, actually, Stitch. It um, could be going better. Not having the best of luck out here. We're catching some small lake trout. Nothing too big. Yeah, the fish aren't hitting that much, uh, Crystal. They really aren't. All right, Prankster. See you later, man. And uh, you know what? I'll go ahead, Iris, and I'll try to catch a uh, salmon while we're out here. We'll try to catch a salmon while we're out here after I reel this in. Stop and go is not bringing in any lake trout today. It's a bright sunny day. Let's see if we can catch one Atlantic salmon before we call this stream quits. Bring it up. See if we can throw on a shad. I know the crankbaits tend to work real well out here uh, for the salmon. So let's go ahead and see if we can land one. We'll throw that cranker on there. We'll head out. Now, the best luck I've had catching the um, Atlantic salmon is out in this area. You'll see this tree line here. And then you'll see one last tree, which is where my marker is pointing at now. A little bit to the left of it in this general area is where I've caught the Atlantic salmon at with crankbaits and while float fishing. So. Let's try the crankbait first, see if we can't land anything with it. Maybe we'll be able to bring in a couple, uh, or at least one Atlantic Salmon before we call this stream El Quito. So I'm just doing it as a real speed of one. I do believe this is the uh, rainbow crankbait. See if we can't land one.
No hits off that bad boy there. Why aren't I fishing peak time? That's a good question, Stitch. That's a good question. Let's see what peak time is. Yeah. Might as well go ahead. We'll fast forward it to about 2 p.m. See if that yields us any better results. Let's give this a shot. See if we can't land ourselves that Atlantic salmon. Oh boy, I really don't know, Henry. Uh, I kind of stream on a whim, man. I don't have a set schedule because I can't right now, so I just sort of stream whenever I get a chance to. I try to stream at least every other day, usually in the evening times, if that helps. Uh, keep an eye out for the notifications if you're a subscriber, usually in the evening times, but I don't know if it'll be tomorrow or the day after. No problem, I risk. We'll see if we can pull one in. Can't make any guarantees, of course, because this is fishing, but we shall see if we can pull any in. I'll try one more cast out here with the uh, crankbait. Then I might move it to float fishing. No hits on that. Let's go ahead and try one more time out here. See if we can get that Atlantic salmon with the crankbait. Yeah, Henry. Yep. Evening time. Usually, usually I stream after six. I started at five o'clock today, but uh, definitely evening time, most likely. And um, yeah, usually about every other day I try to get on stream. So yeah, keep an eye out for those notifications, man. If you want to catch the next one, not getting any hits on this crankbait. Kind of surprised about that. Actually, really surprised about that. Wow, not even a hit off of this crankbait. Unbelievable. All right. So I got my bag of tricks here. Try throwing the chubby bobber on there. Maybe we will, uh, when I have that set at last time. Float fishing, I believe I had it set to about 55. For the Atlantic salmon. and cast this out there see if we can't uh, catch an Atlantic salmon off the artificial salmon eggs it's usually what I've used to catch them before so we'll throw her out there let her sit for a little bit now would be a great time to tell a story <laughs> if you guys got a good story to tell oh holy cow we got a hit already was not expecting it to be that quick We got a fish out there uh, playing with it. We'll see if it takes it under. Boom, guys, we got a fish on. Look at that. Was not expecting 
a fish to hit that soon. This will be the last fish of the stream, guys. Uh, usually I catch Atlantic salmon out there. So it's very possible this is an Atlantic salmon. Got a lot of fight to it. Breaking water out there. Let's see if we can bring him in. I'm pretty sure this is going to be an Atlantic salmon, guys. Pretty sure about it. Looks like an Atlantic salmon to me. Let's get this, uh, get this fish in here. Oh, the drag's good, Stitch. Drag is good. It's the line. Line's good, too. I've tried to, I've tested this uh, at this setup numerous times out here. We're good to go, buddy. Appreciate you looking out there, though. This is an Atlantic salmon. I can tell you that right now. What do we got here? There you go. I believe it was Ertsk. I can't pronounce your name, uh, but we got ourselves an Atlantic Salmon. 9.185 pounds. $625, guys. I appreciate everybody stopping in tonight. Uh, thanks. Thanks for hanging out with me as usual. Like I was saying earlier, usually stream about every other day in the evening time. So keep an eye out for those notifications. To see when I'll be streaming next if you're interested in checking it out. Guys, that'll be it for this stream. You guys know the drill. If you enjoyed this video, please shoot that 